Hi everyone, this is DokiPin and I'm just going to be going over some of the new features in Unreal 4.7. I've just gone to the release page and had a look at some of the new features. So let's go through some of these and see if we can pick some of them apart and play with them and see how well they work. So right at the top they've got this new um, new foliage lighting model which uh, hopefully should give us some nice results with some trees. So let's uh, launch the engine. I'm just going to create a new project. I'll just create a first person just so I can play around. I'll call this new features for seven. And I'm going to include the starter content just so we can have some models in there to play with. Okay, so we're in the engine now, and I'm just going to come to the starter content folder, and let's go and look in the props, and I'm going to drag in the sm underscore bush model. Let's zoom in on that, and if we look at the material for this, we can come over to the details panel and click find in content browser. We can open up the material, and we can see what type of material it is and it comes in as a mask material for the, so it's using the opacity to control the where the leaves are and it's default lit. So at the moment this is just a standard surface shader doesn't really change properties depending on the light angle. Um, so we're going to come through and instead of making it a default lit model we're going to come down and come to the new two-sided foliage model. And what I'll do is I'll just save this straight away and just see what kind of a difference that makes to the um, to the lighting in the scene. And as we can see, it looks a bit washed out and a bit weird. So there's something else we can do to fix that. If we come to the to the shader and zoom in, we can now see that it's got all the standard inputs but it's now got this subsurface color input which we can use to plug in a subsurface color. So what we will do is I'm going to create a new vector 3 parameter by just holding down the 3 key and clicking in in the panel here. And I'm going to hold down the M key and click to create a multiply node. And I'm going to multiply this original texture that's texturing the diffuse part of the material and I'm going to multiply it with this new um, this new color and I'm going to connect that to the subsurface so what's going to happen here is this texture is going to get multiplied with this color and then that new uh, multiplied color is going to be the subsurface color so let's give this a bit of a, a, a value so I'm just going to make it green because you know plants are green and I'm just going to make that a nice kind of mid green value and click OK. So now we can see that the the uh, what's going to go into the subsurface is kind of a, a dark greener version of what the base color is. So save that and we'll have a look at what that's done to our bush. So we can see that we've got some of the um, color back now and what the new shader model does is when we are looking at the at the material from a head-on point of view as in where the light is coming from so we can see the lights coming from this point of view if we're looking in that direction we're just going to get a diffuse light but if we look around from the other side then we start to see a subsurface um, uh, material being applied so there's a different kind of material is um, is shading each pixel depending on um, if the light is behind or in front of it so what I believe is happening is that the diffuse part of the material is actually um, being used to calculate the sort of back face subsurface scattering 
and to make this a bit easier to see in the viewport what I'll do is I will create a scalar parameter and I'll name this SS color C O L O U R and I'm going to plug that into the multiplier so I'm going to get rid of this green color and I'm going to save this out so now we can create a material instance which will allow us to change this parameter live and see it update in the viewport so just right click and create material instance uh, don't need to rename that and we need to click on our bush and just make sure that we are applying that instance material so I'm just going to drag that over into the oh I can just probably just browse it here there we go there's our instance material so that's now applied and I will hit save just to save that and now if we come over into our material instance Oh, and I chose the wrong type of parameter. I chose a scalar when it should have been a vector. That's my mistake. So we'll just quickly create a vector parameter. There we go. Connect that up. Delete that one. SS color save so now we can come to our instance and this should hopefully be available yep, there we go and we can open that up and we can actually um, change this value now and see it update live in the viewport there we go and if we uh, build our lighting and we can generate lots of nice shadows for this model as well. There we can see we're getting lots of nice uh, shadows being baked into the light map as well as being able to change this subsurface color on the fly. So there we go, that's the new foliage lighting model. Nice diffuse lighting from the front. Nice sh sh shadowed subsurface lighting from the back. Thank you very much for that one, Epic. I'm going to be using this quite a lot, I think. Okay, that's the end of this video, and join me in another video soon where I'll be going over some other new features. Thank you, bye.